Good morning, everybody. I have to tell you what happened to me this week. I was sitting at my table doing my work and suddenly everything went black. I couldn't see my hand. I couldn't see my table. I couldn't see the wall or the clock. I couldn't hear the radio or anything running. It was just dark and silent. Then I realized something had caused the power, the electricity to go out in our house. It was out for a long time, but then the electric company fixed and restored the power to our house. And now everything is running again. Praise God. It reminded me of our Superbook Bible adventure this week found in the Old Testament book of 1 Kings in chapter 17 and 18. King Ahab, along with his Phoenician wife, Queen Jezebel, had led the people of Israel in serving and worshiping the false god Baal. Do you remember that in Exodus 23, God had written on the stone tablets that we know as the Ten Commandments, you shall have no other gods before me. Elijah, the prophet of the Lord, the one true God, had confronted King Ahab and told him, as the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, when I serve, whom I serve, there will neither be dew or rain in the next few years, except at my word. And there wasn't any more rain. In fact, there wasn't any for about three years. God told Elijah to leave for a while. And then God later told Elijah to come back and confront King Ahab again for a showdown between Elijah and the true God, the one true God, and the prophets of Baal and the false God Baal. The people of Israel needed to make a choice who they were going to serve and worship. They would find out that the Lord God alone has the power and the glory to overcome the darkness of sin and death. In Jude, verses 24 and 25 in the New Testament, it says, To whom? To him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you before the glorious, his glorious presence without fault and with great joy, the only true God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord before all ages, now and forever. Amen. Today, we may not be led to bow down to false idols made of wood or stone or gold, but we are tempted and led to put other false gods before the one true God. Things like money, status, sports, sports heroes, rock stars, entertainment, videos, games, clothes, other people, even ourselves. Anything that we allow to be more important than the Lord God. I pray that each of us would repent of any idols worship in our lives and confess our sins and God is faithful and just and will forgive and purify our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness so that we can say as written in Joshua 24 15 but as for me and my house we will serve the Lord let's pray dear God we just come to you today through Jesus in spirit and truth and humbly we come before you as the one true God with the power to um, save us from our sins. And Lord, I just pray for each and every one of us to examine our hearts, to see if things, there are any things in our lives that we need to repent of that have come before you and put you once again where you belong, first and number one in our lives. Dear God, we just ask you to watch over us and keep us and uh, you know each need in every one of these families' lives. We just bring them before you. 
We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. In Deuteronomy 6, 4-6, it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts. In the New Testament, in Matthew 22, 36 to 40, when Jesus was asked, Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your strength. These commandments that I give today should be upon your heart, upon your heart. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord is one. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord is one. Remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. May God bless and keep you until we meet again. Now, let's watch our Superbook Bible adventure, Elijah and the Prophets of Baal.